Hello, and welcome to the August 2021 Sky Report. I'm Patrick So. The brightest planet in the night sky, Venus, continues to dominate the evening sky this month. It is visible soon after sunset. Through a telescope, Venus appears as a featureless disk with a gibbous phase. On the evening of the 10th, look to the west about 45 minutes after sunset for Venus and the two-and-a-half-day-old waxing crescent moon. Mars is close to the western horizon and is barely visible in the fading twilight. You might see it with a pair of binoculars. The next evening, the waxing crescent moon moves above Venus and into the constellation Virgo the Maiden. Looking south, the summer evening is dominated by the constellations Scorpius the Scorpion and Sagittarius the Archer. On the 15th, the first quarter moon is close to the head of Scorpius. To the southeast are the constellations of Capricornus the Seago and Aquarius the Waterbearer. Both constellations comprise of faint stars and difficult to see under urban skies. What is not difficult to see are the solar system's two largest planets, Jupiter and Saturn. Jupiter is the brightest of the two. Both planets are up throughout the night through early morning. This picture of Jupiter and Saturn rising in the east-southeast was taken by our telescope demonstrator, Antony Perkhick, last month. On the 20th, the waxing gibbous moon is about four and a half degrees below Saturn in the southeast. On the following night, the moon is located about four degrees below Jupiter. Both planets are favorite targets for amateur astronomers. These beautiful images were taken through a 14-inch telescope by Clive Foster last month. The best meteor shower of the year, the Perseids, peaks on the night of the 11th through to the morning of the 12th. The meteors radiate from the constellation Perseus, which rises in the northeast in the early morning of the 12th. No special equipment is needed to watch the shower. As many as 50 to about 80 meteors per hour can be seen under clear dark skies. The Perseids are known for their occasional fireballs with greenish luminous trails. The peak hour is 3.40 to 4.40 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time on the morning of the 12th. In the morning sky, there are no planets other than Jupiter and Saturn. Both planets are visible in the southwest. High above the south is the autumn constellation Pegasus, the flying horse. These three stars in the constellation of Pegasus plus this star in the constellation of Andromeda form the asterism known as the Great Square of Pegasus. To the east, the winter constellations Orion the Hunter and Taurus the Bull are visible having emerged from the brilliant glare of the sun. Our moon phases this month. New moon is the 8th, first quarter is the 15th, full moon is the 22nd, and last quarter is on the 30th. That's all for this month's Sky Report. Until next time, cheerio 